Ho ho ho, friends of cocktails! This is the season of eggnogs. Last year I made a gingerbread cookie eggnog. But this year I thought I'd show you a popular twist, made with Anejo tequila and dry sherry. By one of the world's best bartenders, Jeffrey Morgenthaler. What was that? Just a second. Wait, where's my watch? What's that? More Christmas drinks. How original. For once, I'd like something tropical on my mountain. And why doesn't anyone ever make anything green? Bring me something like that, and I'll return to watch. P.S. I'm intolerant to lactose. And a holiday cheer. The Grinch. Oh, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I need my cocktail time watch. It's eggnog season. And Mr. Grinch wants something tropical and dairy-free. Think, Kevin, think. Okay. No milk or cream. I got it. Coconut. Coconut cream and coconut milk. That's tropical, right? Yeah. What else? Pineapple. I just got some smoked pineapple Anejo tequila, which will be perfect for this one. Will that be enough? Mm, no. Let's add some banana flavors with the sweetness. Banana olosaccharum is the way to go. Okay, we're getting close. No dairy, lots of tropical flavors. I still need something green. Midori? Matcha green tea. That's it. This will make it nice and green. Just like the Grinch. As for the sherry, I'll use Fino sherry which is fresh and will pair nicely with the tropical flavors. I'm of course keeping the egg. He didn't say vegan, right? Good. I'll also add a bit of saline solution. Grated nutmeg. I think that's it. This will definitely be tropical, but still an eggnog. If this doesn't make the Grinch's heart grow three sizes, nothing will. I'll first show you how I made the banana olo sacrum. Then we'll make the nog and take it to the Grinch's mountain. Hit the subscribe button and stick around. We need to save cocktail time. Even beyond making this for the Grinch, if you make today's recipe for your Christmas party or for your family, you're guaranteed to impress everyone who will try this creamy and dairy-free eggnog. Let's start with the process. First thing I'll show you is how I made the banana olo sacrum. It's a technique most commonly used for citrus fruits in punches, but it will work here as well. I peeled two organic bananas and placed the peels in a bag, where I also add sugar and some spices. The bananas are going in the freezer to be used in a smoothie. For the spices I used 10 grams of white peppercorns and 2.5 grams of allspice. Lightly crush them with a mortar and pestle before adding them in the bag. The sugar is what makes the oleo saccharum work. I added 250 grams. It draws out all of the oils and flavors from the pills and the spices, creating a delicious tropical syrup with a slightly spicy and festive undertone, thanks to the spices. Vacuum sealing works best, but you can use a sealed container and it should still work. Leave to sit until all the sugar dissolves. For me, it was three days. Then cut open the bag and strain all of the delicious liquid. Place it in the labeled bottle and use it to flavor up your next funky cocktail. It should be good for at least three weeks. With that done and all the ingredients ready, we can start making the Grinch's eggnog. Time to grab the blender. Using a blender is also the way Jeffrey makes his eggnogs, and it really makes your job way easier. I'll start with the eggs, but this time I'm only using the egg yolks. Maybe use the egg whites for whiskey sours with the banana ola sacrum later, when the eggnog is chilling. Add the yolks and start the blender on a low speed. Speaking of banana ola sacrum, add 90 ml or 3 ounces of our tropical sweetness. 
instead of regular cream, I'm using coconut cream. Give it a shake and add 200 ml or 6 and 3 quarters of an ounce. This is just coconut flesh and water, so it's not to be confused with cream of coconut, which has sugar added. And instead of milk, some more coconut. Coconut milk. This is made from water, coconut flesh, agave syrup, salt and a stabilizer. It's often used as a milk alternative in cafes. As is tradition around here, saline solution. Four drops won't make this salty, but only highlight all of the wonderful flavors in this eggnog. Now for the booze. 105 ml or 3 quarters of an ounce of Rooster Rojo smoked pineapple Anejo tequila will add subtle smokiness and play on the tropical notes to make a great base for our eggnog. If you can get this from Rooster Rojo, try infusing your Anejo tequila with some grilled pineapple and use that. Follow that with 45 ml or 1.5 oz of Fino Sherry. You can also try using sake or a dry vermouth. And the final step to make this green. Let's add 4 grams of matcha green tea. Give it a couple of seconds to incorporate, then it's ready to be bottled and go in the fridge to chill. You can make this in advance if you're going to a Christmas party. And of course, scale up the recipe. If you want to give this as a gift, make sure to add a nice label. For me, it's a way to get back my cocktail time watch. I better do a quick taste test before I carry this up the mountain to the Grinch. Stick around and join me on an adventure. And a bit of grated nutmeg on top, since it's still an eggnog. And we want that festive aroma. It's unbelievably creamy, with tropical flavors working perfectly. I'm sure this will make the Grinch feel all toasty inside. Time to pack the bag and let's go! As I was making my way up the mountain, I had two things on my mind. How I hope the Grinch finds this eggnog as delicious as I did. Since I really want my watch back and the fact that I'm freezing. And people better watch the whole episode to make this worth it. Mr. Grinch! Mr. Grinch! I came for my watch! I brought you some eggnog! Who dares come close to the Grinch's lair? Oh, hi, Kevin! Come on in! Let's see what you got! It's something to make you feel merry. It's green, it's got coconut, pineapple, banana, and it's still an eggnog. Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! It's delicious! So, can I get my watch back? Now, we can share another now. You know, nobody should be alone at this time. Okay, 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 bye-bye <sighs> Well, that was kind of rude. But it was still better than the Home Alone remake, right? Thanks for watching, everyone, and enjoy your holidays. Cheers! Mr. Grinch! I came for my watch! <laughs> I came for my watch. <laughs> Mr. Grinch, I came for my watch. I brought you some eggnog. Mr. Grinch, I came for my watch. Love us in pause for a Mr. Grinch, look at this, you're Mr. Grinch. I came for a. <laughs> <laughs> I came.
game for my watch. Как бы оценил искусственный вариант на своих отнамах? Let's go home! Yeah. <laughs>